Hi, Cree from New Camp RV, product specialist. This week I want to take a look at winterization, uh, specifically the Tab 320 winterization. We'll be going over the Avia, the Cirrus, the 400 some other time in our next video because those all have the dedicated bypass valve. The 320 does not. You have to adjust three or four valves and you're good to go. So I want to focus on that today. Um, I'll be following instructions we have on our blog. There's also instructions in your owner's manual step-by-step -step instructions with pictures. You can use that when you're uh, winterizing your vehicle and dewinterizing. So let's get started. All right, so step one on the instructions says drain all tanks. Note, the freshwater tank drain valve is located underneath the entry door steps. So that's gonna be right here in that area. Just open up that valve, it's gonna drain your freshwater tank. In draining all your tanks, you also need to think about the gray and black water tank. That's located right here. Your gray water tank, black water tank, what I would probably do is empty your black water tank first and then your gray water tank just to flush anything out. So next thing you wanna do, you wanna drain your low point drain valves and you wanna open them up one at a time to create kind of a pressurized system. Those are located underneath the driver's side back bench seat right here. You just have to lay the uh, backrest down and then you'll be able to remove that bench seat right there and you'll have access to it. So take a look at this photo right here and we'll highlight the low point drain valves. So after you've relieved the low point drain valves, you wanna close those up again. And the next step after that is relieving the Aldi hot water tank. So take a look at this photo right here. That is your Aldi relief valve. That is what's gonna empty uh, the hot water tank. That is really important. You don't want water inside the hot water tank to freeze. That could potentially ruin the entire Aldi system. So make sure to do that. Once you've done that, close it up again and we'll proceed to our next step. So after you've drained the unit completely, your next step and one of the most important steps is changing your valves from camping season mode to winterization mode. This is to prevent any RV antifreeze going inside the hot water tank. You do not want RV antifreeze inside the hot water tank. So located here, you can see a picture of your valves. The first valve you're gonna close is gonna be the hot water valve, backtracking to the Aldi. The next thing is your bypass valve. You actually wanna open that up and then you're gonna close the cold water valve, backtracking back to the Aldi. So three valves you're gonna have to change. Once you completed that, you're on to actually adding RV antifreeze to the tank. So after you have turned your valves from camping mode to winterization mode, the next thing is adding antifreeze. You can add antifreeze into the fresh water tank through here. Um, if you wanna save antifreeze and not have any antifreeze in the fresh water tank, um, you can actually direct or connect a line directly to the PEC side of the water pump and then pump it directly into the lines into the unit. So once you have antifreeze in your tank or if you have the jug directly connected to the PEC side of the water pump, you wanna start opening every faucet, every shower hose, especially the exterior shower, that is very susceptible to freezing. You wanna flush your toilet. The toilet flange itself is very susceptible to freezing as well. You also, once you have pumped everything through the systems, you want to pour antifreeze down the P-trap, so the sink drain, the shower drain, um, those are also very susceptible to freezing. Um, in a nutshell, that's how you winterize the TAP320. If you have any questions on it, you can email me at tech at newcamprv.com. So thank you, have a good day.